Hi everyone, it's Tiny Tom Logan back with another video for you and today we're going to be talking about a 4 terabyte solid state drive. So yes, we're going to be talking about a 4 terabyte solid state drive and it's the new Samsung 860 Pro. So yes, it is a 2.5 inch hard drive. So that means that we've got a SATA connection. Now, one of the things that you do need to remember with the SATA connection, the actual SATA adapter itself is going to be the limiting factor with a lot of the performance. The reason why we did make the uh, switch to MTOT2 with the PCR Express connection was the fact that it had much more bandwidth available. The, um, uh, the SATA connection, has a theoretical maximum throughput of, they say 600 megabits a second, but if I'm totally honest, the performance that we ended up getting from this drive is pretty much the absolute top end of what we are probably ever likely to see from a SATA drive. And considering its size and the capacity, the fact that this thing is so quick, is actually quite unbelievable. So they, they're saying that it is um, designed for high-end computers and extreme gaming rigs. Now, because it is four terabyte, the uh, prices do range, because uh, I've had a look at the two big e-tailers in the UK online, and they range from sort of 1,350 to 1,500 pounds for this four terabyte version. Now they do do a two terabyte, one terabyte, uh, 500 meg and I think there's even a 256 as well so they do go up in size you don't need to go for the absolute like crazy four terabyte version but it comes um, uh, in, in it so equipped I'm reading from my notes with the it's a brand new MJX controller and the latest 2-bit 3d MLC VNAND architecture um, so uh, the little chips that are inside it are 64 layers tall and that's why we've got such a small drive with such a large capacity. Um, now they say it's best in class um, sequential read and writes and they say the reads are 560 and the writes are up to 530. Um, it's also got um, uh, approximately eight times higher uh, total bytes written <coughs> or eight times higher more total bytes written available to it than the old 850 so they're comparing it to their own um, drives rather than, than even the competition and the total bytes written means basically after lots and lots of writes the that the, they basically they do degrade and you know, kind of die performance drops right out so you they're not able to be used like forever um, and they've got a kind of like an upper headroom almost like a fuel tank and then you can kind of see all the rights being um, uh, read and writes being kind of taken away is probably the best way I can explain it but you do get the Samsung magician software uh, that you can download for free online and that keeps an eye on the life of your drive you can update the firmware with it you can run performance um, uh, benchmarks with it as well so it's a proper good gateway and an, uh, and an eye in on the uh, drive itself so that's something you might want to keep in mind if you were to get it now if we, uh, we don't need to take ages for this because I'm just going to smash through some graphs for you now we run two different versions of Crystal Dismark this is the older version 3. Now I've shortened this graph to kind of make it slightly more relevant. If we did all the graphs in it, we'd be going back to, or all the drives in it, we'd be going back to SATA drives from years and years ago, like when um, a solid state drive was doing 150 writes and 200 reads. So we've kind of shortened it down a bit, but essentially what you can see in the graph is it kind of sits in the middle. It's at the top of the SATAs, but it's obviously going to be below the M.2, so it's exactly where you would expect it to be. One of the things I will say as well is you can go and have a look on the OC3D website, all the other graphs, all the other technical information, anything that you might want, and also you can go and have a look at the other reviews as well. Anvil, it came out uh, really well. Um, and then when we move on to, uh, there was a few Anvils that we did actually. 
Um, it looks like I've printed them off twice because I'm a genius, but we've got read and writes that split out. Uh, and then we've also got the, um, uh, the IOPS, which is something that you might want to look at. So with the IOPS, you can see that the, uh, the 4K small IOPS, it actually did really well on. Uh, it's and that was on the reads, but when you flick over to the right, it actually fell down the graphs a little bit. But the one of the things to pick out here is uh, with the read IOPS, you can actually see it's gone above some PCI Express NVMe drives. So the read IOPS on this were actually exceptionally good and annoyingly good. So the long and short of it is we can you know rattle this out. They're a four terabyte SATA drive. It's a massive single SATA drive. If you're one of those people that want the ultimate um, uh, rig, then uh, if you want a lot of drives at the moment, then you end up having to buy multiples. And that means more cables going into your motherboard. It means more things to bolt into your case. It genuinely means more mess. But if you were to mix the uh, 860 Pro with the 960 Pro, and you can get these in two terabyte ones, and this is the M.2, this one does like 3,400 reads and 3,200 writes. You put those together in your rig, yes, fair enough, you are going to have spent an awful lot of money, I am not um, ignoring that. You could have six terabytes worth of rapid storage in your uh, system, and this one's not gonna have any cables with it at all. This one means you're gonna connect one SATA cable power, one SATA cable data, and you've got six terabytes in your rig. Now, I'm not being funny. It, you could have an awful lot of adult material or a massive Steam library, and you could probably get away with putting all of it between these um, uh, two drives, even with massive games that are out there now, like uh, Gears of War and the like, although Gears of War is just a wind-up merchant when it comes to trying to use it professionally. So that is it. it at the end of the day, the uh, 860 Pro, 100%, gets the OC3D Enthusiast Award. Yes, the price is eye-watering. Let's face it, it's the first time that even I've had a four terabyte um, drive in my hands. Uh, and the other ones that I've had in the past, like the two terabyte ones I've had in the past, have been more kind of, um, they've not been performance drives at all. So the read and writes have been around the kind of 300 mark. So for this to be this big and this quick, at the same time, that's the reason why there's going to be a price premium for it. But if it's out of your price range now, one of the wonderful things about the way technology does move on is maybe in a year or so's time, these will be a lot more um, uh, accessible. But for now, if you want it this big and you want it this quick, that's your option.